Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Frank Turner. Here's a look at the top stories we're following for you today. A mid Michigan community assessing the damage after an EF2 tornado tore through Port Austin. The twister wrecking multiple homes and knocking down trees. An EF0 tornado also touching down in Clare County near Surrey Road and Cornwall Avenue, caving in a barn and destroying a garage in its path. Authorities investigating a rollover crash in Sandalac County, leaving one man injured. This happened Sunday afternoon on Old 51 near Washington Road in Washington Township. A 25-year-old Sandusky man driving a 2003 BMW southbound when he lost control and entered the ditch. He was treated at the scene and then taken to a local hospital for further treatment. The driver not wearing a seatbelt. Sentencing is set for a man accused in a deadly hit and run crash. Ramon Bishop accused of fleeing the scene of the crash in Flint Township last September. 64 year old Roy Anthony Welch was taken to the hospital where he died. Bishop had been charged with manslaughter, failure to stop at the scene of an accident and tampering with evidence. Court records show Bishop pleaded no contest to the failure to stop charge. The other charges dropped. Sentencing is set for today at 1.30. Now here's John with your forecast. Thank you very much, Frank. Let's go over the forecast as we're going throughout the rest of your Monday, and we'll show you what's going on for the rest of the week as well. Forecast for later on this afternoon. Temperatures getting into the upper 70s, lower 80s, partly to mostly cloudy if you're not experiencing the rain, but we will have the chance for a few hit or miss showers and thunderstorms as we go throughout the rest of the afternoon and evening. Looks like our better chances will be further off to the south. We're tracking your humidity as well. Your dew points will be into the low to mid 60s for today, so you'll definitely notice it being a little bit more heavy, at least in the air as we're going throughout your Monday and those numbers do look to climb uh, near 70 as we go throughout the day tomorrow. So still plenty of humidity to go around tonight. We're back down into the upper 60s. It's mostly cloudy. We will have the chance for a few isolated showers as we go into your Tuesday morning and there it is seven day forecast. It looks like our best rain chances for this week will land Tuesday and then again into the day on Wednesday. Temperatures holding into the lower 80s with more humidity. We'll see those numbers fall slightly lightly into the 70s by Thursday and then a drying trend does look to be in the cards as we go closer to the weekend. Still an isolated shower chance. We can't rule it out, but nothing is widespread as we've seen over the weekend, but we'll keep an eye on it for you. Upper 70s near 80 as we approach July 4th and the first one five weather center. I'm meteorologist John Gross. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 seven for the latest news, weather and information.